So I have a confession to make. I've got a problem. Um, I apparently like buying hair products. I can't resist. I've bought a lot. I'll show you how much I've bought. Yeah, that's what I bought over the last month. Okay, this isn't months. This is the last month. So apparently a bunch of hair brands were having sales and I decided to take advantage of it. Hi, my name is Leah and welcome to my channel. Um, in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you all the products that I bought over the last month because I apparently have no self-control and can't stop buying hair products. I never considered myself a hair junkie, but now that I'm trying to revamp my hair regimen and fill certain holes and figure out what products I want to use, I'm just kind of like, let's try everything. And that's probably not the best way to do it, but it doesn't help that these brands are having really great sales at the beginning of the year. And I'm just like, I can't read this. So anywho. Um, before we jump in, you know, I just want to encourage you to go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I would love it if you would go ahead and join the Relax Gal fam. Um, so all you have to do is hit the red button that says subscribe and then you're a subscriber. And if you want to get notified by YouTube when I upload videos, you can hit that bell button and YouTube will send you a notification. Okay, on to the hair products. As you probably saw, I bought products from three different brands, so let's go ahead and jump in and start with TGIN, which thank God it's natural. And the first product I'm going to talk about is the Buttercream Daily Moisturizer. Um, this says that it's a super rich and creamy everyday moisturizer for soft, shiny, and manageable hair. And as with all TGIN products, there are no parabens, sulfates, petroleum, lanolin, artificial colors, or animal testing in it. Um, I actually bought two of these. I'm using one of the jars right now. I really like this stuff. I'm able to moisturize and seal my hair with it, and it really moisturizes my hair. It's thick, but it doesn't weigh my hair down at all. Um, actually, I used this stuff on my hair like two days ago, and I haven't had to moisturize since then. I haven't applied like any other product on my hair since I did a moisturizing and sealing session with this stuff. So that's why I got two of these when they were on sale. Um, then I also bought a couple of other products because TJN was having, I think it was like a $5 sale, um, on their hair products. And by the time I got to the site with my code to get the $5, um, products, they were out of pretty much everything else I wanted. So I said, well, let's try a couple of the hair serums. So I've got this one, which is the Jamaican Black Castor Oil Hair and Body Serum. And it says that it's a super potent, nutrient-rich, moisturizing oil that defends the skin's youthful appearance and promotes healthy hair growth. So I use Jamaican Black Castor Oil pretty much just on my scalp. I might put it in a hot oil treatment every now and again. But the Jamaican Black Castor Oil bottle that I had from another brand, I was like getting really low. And I said, well, why not buy this? Um, it was five bucks. It was on sale. We can give it a try, and I got two of those. And then the last product I got from TGIN was the Argan Replenishing Hair and Body Serum. And so this, it has not just argan oil, but it has coconut oil in it. Um, but it's a natural lightweight oil for all hair and skin types. Um, and so you can use it as a sealant as part of a hot oil treatment. I'm really looking forward to using it as a sealant, and I got three of them. Why I got three of these and two of the Jamaican black castor oil, I don't really know. But yeah, that's all. Oh, okay. Well, actually, this isn't as pure as I thought it was. It's got coconut oil, olive oil, argan oil, peach kernel oil, jojoba oil, vitamin E, and hibiscus flowers and fragrance. So Carol's Daughter is a brand that I had tried a few years ago. I used a couple of styling products, hated those products, and swore off the brand. But then when I was looking for some protein-free deep conditioners, I found a few of their hair masks because they have some that are protein-free and tried those and love them. So I decided to, when they were having their 30% off sale, stock up on one of those hair masks. And hopefully y'all be able to say this. But this is the Cocoa Cream curl quenching deep moisture mask okay I love this stuff it's it's one of the hair masks that I found that I loved and spoiler alert it's actually going to be one of the deep conditioners that is in my hair regimen once I finalize all that so because I love it so much I bought four so I also got a couple other hair products from Carol's daughter basically because I had to spend a certain dollar amount to be able to get free shipping and some samples so I decided to try the cocoa cream rinse out conditioner as well since I like the deep conditioner I said why not try this um, it looks like it's pretty similar to the deep conditioner just maybe a few different um, hair product ingredients and everything in here and I'm 
pretty sure I looked to see if it had um, any kind of protein in it, and it really doesn't. So, um, spoiler alert, as part of my hair regimen, I will be using rinse out conditioners before I deep condition and thought this might be a good one to try out. And the other conditioner I got is actually from the line of the other hair mask from Carol's Daughter that I liked, but it's not going to end up in my hair regimen. And this is the Rasool Clay Enriching Conditioner. So this whole line with the Rasool Clay is for overworked and overwashed hair. And it's supposed to help restore, restore essential moisture revitalize tired hair and add brilliant glossy shine and the hair mask actually helped me to break down the protein on my hair and really help soften up my hair that was pretty much one of the key things that helped do it so I felt this might be a good thing to use every once in a while if I feel like my hair just needs like a little pick-me-up or something um and then I got a couple of samples and this is from their almond milk line and it's the sulfate free shampoo and the restoring conditioner and therefore extremely damaged and over processed hair so it's supposed to re reverse damage strengthen and protect the hair and then restore softness and I think yes these do have protein in them which is what I thought which is why I didn't get any of like the full size products because I was just like I just don't need all these products of protein but it's a good thing to like try out on my hair um you know at some point all right so that's what I got from Carol's daughter now we've got one more brand and that is Maya I'm like loving Maya right now and to be honest I think it's probably only one hair product that I can say that I've really tried and really really love um, and it's funny because I had used a leave-in conditioner from the Mayel line, um, their pomegranate and honey line. I hated it. I hated it. I hated it. I hated it. But I have been using this one product that I bought when they had a $7 sale and it is the, um, thermal and heat protectant spray from the Mongongo oil line. And I love this stuff. Like it, it works so well for my hair. The crazy thing is it's only like four ounces. So I go through it in like three or four washes. But I bought five of these things. So, you know, I should not run out for a while. And of course, because there's dollar minimums you have to hit to be able to get free shipping, I bought a couple other hair products to try out. Um, the other, one of the other ones that I got was from the Mongongo oil line as well. It is the hydrating conditioner. It's protein free, which really got me. The one thing that I don't like is that it's eight ounces. It looks really small. A lot of the hair products, I feel like other conditioners that I get are like 10, 12 ounces. Like this is a 12 ounce. So I feel like I could go through this pretty quickly. And um, I am looking forward to using it. So let me tell you what they say about this. It's um, a protein-free hydrating conditioner that not only moisturizes, but protects from heat damage by restoring health and shine. It's a protein-free conditioner that's great for softening and silkening your hair from root to tip. And it's the perfect conditioner for those who are protein sensitive. So um, I love the fact that it doesn't have any protein in it. It's kind of interesting because the rest of this Mongongo oil line, pretty much I think every other product has protein in it. So it's interesting that they have one product, at least that I could tell, within the line that has no protein. The third product I got from Mayel was a shampoo. I couldn't resist. It's the Babasa, Babasu, I'm not sure, conditioning shampoo. It's for dry and curly hair types. Um, and it says that it's a gentle cleanser that contains rich moisturizing agents to soften and strengthen the hair. Um, it contains natural and certified organic ingredients, including this Babasu, Babasa oil. Ah, it does have almond protein, so it does have protein in it and hibiscus extract. So this Babasu oil is derived from a lightweight Amazon Amazonian <laughs> palm fruit. And then the almond protein provides strength and elasticity while hibiscus extract provides shine and manageability. So um, this does have protein in it, which is what I figured it did. It seems like a lot of the Maya products have some protein in it, which is why this deep conditioner is such a big deal. So anywho, I was like, I couldn't resist. I had to try it. So I'm thinking that there's going to be a Carol's Daughter wash day video probably happening and a Maya wash day hair video happening just to kind of see how these new products work out um, and using them with some of my old and current hair products and um, 
yeah so that's it that's all that I got if you have any questions about any of these hair products go ahead leave them in the comments down below happy to address and answer as many questions as I can and if you've tried any of these hair products for yourself and you liked them you didn't like them please go ahead and share that in the comments down below I love to hear about your experiences with hair products that have not touched my head or have and um, as I mentioned before don't forget to subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button and I will see you in my next video